Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a Sigma 2 video. A lot of you guys have been asking for this and I'm finally making one and a video on the RPG coming out later on as well. Um, but in today's video, I'm just going to go through the Sigma challenges and show you guys and kind of explain how I do it myself. Um, which is, uh, in my opinion, a super effective way and probably the best way of doing it. Um, I've done this Sigma myself like five, six times already. Um, so I've kind of been through it. I have strats, I have specific gamers to go to every single time to get it done. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'm just going to explain to you guys how to do it in today's video. Let's just get right into it. So, the first launch is sick mid 2. We have a lot of interesting challenges on. So right now I already have the Ultra, obviously, in my main account. Um, but let's just pretend this is level 1. Um, and you have to rank it up. So, when you're doing challenges and grinding camos, some of the challenges kind of overlap into other. The first challenge is 50 eliminations. Then we have the second challenge, or the third challenge, which is get two kills without dying uh, 20 times for Sigma 2. And basically, these overlap with the last challenge we have, which is double kills. So we don't even have to focus on the eliminations or the two kills, kill streaks or whatever. Whenever we do the double kills, we get to complete those automatically. Um, so I usually don't even bother ranking um, Sigma up in pubs. Every time I have to rank this gun up, I do it in zombies, and that would just be D machine, and I would just chill. That could be with a couple of friends. Pretty to myself, I have AFK account in there um, to spawn more zombies, which gets me more XP. So usually, what I do is I get to around ten or nine in zombies, and I end the game and I start again, and just keep doing that over and over. Then it shouldn't take too long to get to to level thirty with it. Um, and then it's it's more of a chill grind for me, honestly. Um, it might take a little bit of time without any sort of double or anything, but it, it's way more chill to do um, because you don't have to bother with flat jacket or anything. Uh, you will get to that later on, though. The moment you go back to multiplayer, it can kind of be hell. But that's what I do. I always max out my launchers in rank 30 so I can start doing... I have all the challenges unlocked and I can start working on them at the same time. So, eliminations, we're not going to bother that challenge at all. This one, we're not going to bother with that either because that overlaps with some of the other challenges we have, which is shooting down kill streaks in general. We have to shoot down 50 ground based kill streaks and we have to shoot down 50 area kill streaks. And there's a way of doing that too. But the first thing I basically start on every time, and I, I'm kind of jumping from challenges to what's worse first. I always do that. Um, shooting down streak for the Sigma is super easy and it, it's not bad at all. You can easily do that. And I'll get into that in a second. But what I start on is double kills. A lot of people are asking me how to get double kill for Sigma, what is the best way? And I've seen a lot of different answers to that question. A lot of people are saying, just go into Newtown. Just run around and punch people in Newtown. And honestly, if you do that, you are in for a really bad time. And that is painful as it is. And I do not recommend playing any sort of Newtown for this. Because that is probably, Hardcore Newtown is one of the sweatiest game modes out there. With everybody going for high cool game modes or whatever. And if you're in a higher skill with matchmaking bracket, you're going to play against sweats. In general, the Hardcore, there's not less players than Hardcore. So the, the matchmaking and the energy you're playing might be a bit more straight. And they're especially going to use Flat Jacket because they know that's going to be a problem. You already have less health, so they're going to run Flat Jacket to kind of prevent from dying even more. Um, I kind of do it myself every time I play hardcore. I will run per greed. I will have flat jacket and tactical mask on. That's kind of normal to do and a lot of people do that. That's why I do not recommend going in hardcore new town at all. The game mode on the other hand though, a less filled game mode, not as many people in there. The game mode I had the most luck in will be hardcore face off. So hardcore face off, if you don't know, is on smaller maps. If you ever play gunfight, it basically is smaller maps for less players. Face off is free v free, um, and you basically just play to one lobby every time. Some of the maps in there are super good for this, um, but people do still use flash get in there, and it can be annoying to, to play against. Crazy myself, I always lobby search for a lobby in face off, and I try to find a lobby without flash jacket. And the moment you get a lobby without flash jacket, you can easily knock out five to ten double killers in one game. And you can also punch people as well. It's a bit easier to punch there because the map is smaller. It's a bit more close quarter. So you can eventually punch one and then shoot one. Or then shoot one and punch one after that. That counts as double kills as well. So the maps in there are not as good. And I would, I would say, if I have to rank him, I would say the best map for it is the ICBM map. Um, it is a small map. It's kind of like a circle with a platform in the middle. If you're on that platform, you can easily get quite a bit of double kills in the game. 
the one map I would avoid would be Yuben, because that's kind of a flat map. You don't really have to hide ground anywhere, and it's kind of hard to get double kills in that map. Um, I, I don't really play it every time it pops up. I will always back out. You can get double kills on it, but it's definitely the hardest map in there. Then we have Game Show and the KGB map. Those are fine. You can get double kills on them, but ICBM is still the best map for that, in my opinion. Um, and after playing face off for quite a bit, I would definitely recommend going for ICBM. Um, and then if there is someone in your lobby with flat jacket, the first thing you see when you when you shoot a rocket and someone have flat jacket, back out. Uh, then there's just not worth playing that game at all because you basically waste your time. Um, you can still punch people in there, and it's still easier than doing a new town for sure. But I would still recommend searching for it and lobby without flat jacket, um, and it's just gonna make it a lot easier in the long run. Also, one thing that's super important while grinding camos. Don't back out of games because your progress is not going to save. You get, let's say, let's say you're in a new time game and you're playing Hack of the Nation. The game is going to last 15 minutes. You play two minutes and no one is using flat jacket. You shoot and you get like four double kills, right? Then they all put on flat jacket. Then you still have 10 plus minutes in that game where you basically have to suffer because everybody is using flat jacket. If you do back out of that game, it will say those four double kills are counting, but the moment you start your game and get back on the game again, it's gonna take away that progress. So a lot of people, they don't know about that. If you back out of games, your progress does not count. And the moment you start your game and go back into the game, it's gonna remove double kills you got in that game you left, basically. Um, so that's another reason Face Off is a good game for this and better in my opinion, because the, the, the maps are, so, the, the games are shorter basically. So let's say you do get a couple double kills in the game and they switch your flat jacket. You don't have to wait for as long as if you're playing a, a hardcore dude town or anything like that and hack combination for that case. Um, the game is only like 5-6 minutes at most and it's just TDM, kill, TDM and kill confirm and domination mainly. They don't last more than 5 minutes in general. Uh, and that's why you don't have to wait as long in case they do just slack deck and then you have gotten double kills. Um, because even if you punch your double kill, that will be progress. I, if you end up getting a double kill and they still have flat deck, stay in that game to save. Okay, that will be worth it in the end. Um, but that's pretty much how we do it for double kills. Um, and then we move it on to the kill streak. So we have these three challenges. Again, we are not going to focus on the destroy 50 equipment, score streak, vehicles, and multiplayer. Okay, we're going to do that while we're doing this one. We had to shoot down 100 kill streaks in total, 50 aerial, and 50 ground kill streaks. So, how I do this is basically in fire team, and that includes this one too. This challenge destroyed three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 50 times in multiplayer. I always go to fire team for this challenge. And basically, what you want to do is you want to play fire team, and then you have engineer on it. So, every time you're in a fire team game, um, my favorite map to do this on is Ruka. It doesn't matter with the Sigma because you can do it on every map. But basically you spawn in and then you just fly around. And a good tip for you to do is when you press your scoreboard, I'm on PlayStation so I press R1 and it switches to the entire map. You can see every single vehicle. And with the engineer on, you can see whenever someone hubs on vehicles. And then you basically, whenever someone is on the vehicle, you look onto it and then you shoot it. And that counts as a ground kill streak or a vehicle. On Ruka, um, there is basically a satellite, this one satellite right here, you can sit on top of that, and if you're not being bothered at all, then the best thing you can do is just sit up there and you can lock onto literally every single vehicle on the map. And then again, you can see on the minimap whenever, or you can see on your big map, when you score scoreboard thing, whenever people hover vehicles, and then you just, you just wait for that. You just look at that map until someone hover the vehicles, you can see sentry guns as well, and then you just shoot whenever someone is on it. Um, and a really good thing, especially when you're doing that on Ruka, I would say, make sure you have danger clues on so you get extra rockets. Then you get up to four rockets with the Sigma. Again, you're going to have to sacrifice some perks, because I usually run per green. But Engineer is a must, and I would say either probably Cold Blooded as well, or Ghosts if you're playing on Ruka. Um, on the other maps, you basically have to fall down and die kind of constantly, and it's going to fuck up your KD. But hey, in the end of the day, then whenever you go back to multiplayer after doing the launches, your lobby is going to be 10 times better. So sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. If you're grinding camos, you should not care about your KD. You shouldn't care about it either way. It's basically the numbers, and it don't mean anything at all. But that's how I do it. The same with the area call streaks. Um, they get... In fire team, they get streaks like attack, recover, this shit, these counter, these shoot everything now you can, and especially the vehicles. Um, on the other maps that is not Ruka, again, fly around, and when you get closer to the ground, just literally cut your parachute and kill yourself, and then respawn again. Um, so you get up in the air, and so you're ready for more vehicles. And then this one, they stack. So you don't actually have to play 10 games. If you get 15 in one game, that will count as 5. So this one is not a problem either while you're doing your channel. 
because fire team games they do last for quite a bit sometimes. They can last up to probably like 30 minutes. Um, and you can definitely shoot down probably at least 50 kill streaks in that 30 minute time frame. Um, like kill streak and score streaks and everything. It's really not that bad. Um, and that's pretty much how I do my Sigma every time. This is not a bad gun at all, and you can easily get it over with. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I will have a video for the RPG coming out. If not, it's already out. Make sure I will have a link down in the description below. So guys, thank you so much. I hope this video just helped out just a little bit. Um, let me know if it did. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and peace out.